This video is sponsored by Predator, provider of official IAM certified PCs, laptops and monitors. What is the fastest way to become a millionaire in CSGO? I think we've established that case unboxings aren't the way to go here. So instead, let's look to the in-game economy and at the virtual dollars you earn from beating the enemies and from completing objectives in competitive mode. Of course, you get money for each kill, the amount of which varies depending on the weapon used. An AWP nets you just $100, whereas a Nova shotgun will grant you $900 presumably to give those weapons a purpose. But a knife kill is the best, earning you $1,500. So we're all just 667 knife kills away from becoming a millionaire. But then of course there are the round and objective bonuses and all that jazz, which makes figuring out how long it takes to reach a million insanely complicated. And of course you're limited to having just $16,000 in the bank, in this bizarre world that is Counter-Strike. For the sake of this video, I'll assume that anything beyond that is paid straight into your pension and counts towards your fortune. So what is the fastest way to earn a million dollars in CSGO? But first, this video sponsor, the Acer Predator Helios 300 laptop, is the little brother of the 500 range, with still enough power to drive cutting edge games. Look, there it is, over there, running Crisis. Right next to the Octopus Candelabra, this IAM certified gaming machine is powered by an Intel i7 processor and GeForce 3060M. That's 16 threads of CPU performance and the latest generation of NVIDIA graphics card with ray tracing and DLSS support. Now it's even doing some ray tracing! Look at it, doing all those rays bouncing about all over the place. And its display is 17 inches large and 165 hertz, making it feel fast and responsive for competitive games too. It has a 1440p resolution, making this LEGO just here look good enough to eat. Just look at how shiny it all looks. So if you're looking for a well-balanced all-purpose laptop with a high-res, high-speed screen and the power to drive some very reflective looking modern games, check out the Helios 300 lineup in this video's description. Before we look to extremes, let's ask the question, how much do you earn in a normal game of Counter-Strike? But you know what I'm going to ask, don't you? What is normal? Is there such thing as normal? Am I normal? No, are you normal? Is anybody? So for this, should we count the money earned in a fair and balanced game that goes to 15-15, even though that will inflate the numbers since the maximum number of rounds has been played? For me, normal is losing 16-1, which again doesn't represent the norm since one team will earn a lot more than the other, and it's probably shorter than average. So just to get a rough ballpark figure for how much you earn in a game of Counter-Strike, I analysed a 16-12 game on Inferno, performed between Na'Vi and G2 just the other month. Because why not? Seems about as normal as you can get, with the exception of them all being like the best players in the world ever. Counting the money that each and every player earned was a long and laborious process, and I absolutely loved it. It isn't just the win and loss bonuses from every round, but also the $800 they start each half with, and having to decide whether or not the end of half bonuses count, even though you never even see the final round's bonuses because it jumps straight to the end screen. But I counted it all, and the results were surprisingly interesting. It averaged out at $86,350 per player, by the way. I'm sure that $100,000 could be obtainable if it ran for 30 rounds and if the more profitable weapon types were used. Na'Vi lost 12-16, yet their team still earned 6% more than G2 Esports did overall. So this is a sign that CSGO does reward the losing team with more money. But it still surprised me given that the only way to beat the $3,250 win bonus is to lose 5 consecutive rounds in a row, and even then it should only award $150 more per player. So I guess this difference is more down to how devastating it is to lose after a spree of wins and to only get that minimum $1,400 bonus instead. And I was also surprised by how little deviation there was among the players of the same team. The top earner in Na'Vi earned $2,600 more than the lowest earner, and in G2 the difference was even smaller, with the joint top owners, Nico and Jax, making just $1,100 more than their lowest earner, which was Monacy, who ironically earned the least in the entire game. And Simple, by far the top fragger in the game, didn't even earn the most money. Him using the AWP obviously plays a part in this with its low $100 kill bonus. But there's more to it than that. He even gets two shotgun and one SMG kill. So I think it all comes down to this round where, despite killing three enemies, he runs out of time and doesn't get the lost bonus, losing him a potential $1,400, which would have placed his earnings comfortably above anybody else in the match. All this really hammers home that just one or two low end of round bonuses can really affect your earnings, to the point where it negates an otherwise star performance fragwise. So there, in this so-called normal match, if we ignore the pauses, an average of $86,000 was earned per player in a match that lasted roughly 68 minutes. Meaning that if this match repeated over and over again, it would take a gruelling 13 hours of non-stop matchmaking to become a millionaire in CSGO. And you die approximately 175 times. 
there's got to be an easier and faster way of becoming a millionaire than that. But we've got a baseline figure. In a competitive game of some sort, played seriously, $1,200 per minute is an obtainable figure. Now it's time to try and beat that amount. And the best way of making money quickly in CSGO depends on whether more can be made from round end bonuses or from killing enemies. If it comes down to ending rounds as quickly as possible, then we should look no further than Vertigo, which really is a map designed for this exact situation. Good guy Valve. Say, for instance, the enemy team just happens to all clumsily, accidentally, and immediately fall off the side of the map every round. How long would each round take to complete? I could fall to my death in about 3 seconds, but since there's probably going to be some congestion on the edge of the building, I'll say it takes 4 seconds per round for all of one team to fall to their dooms. But then you also have to account for the buy time and the bit at the end of the round as well. In total it comes to 26 seconds per round. So we're talking about a $3,250 round win bonus every 26 seconds. Nice. It used to be even better than that. In the old design of Vertigo, the terrorists would spawn almost directly below the CTs. So if you were lucky enough with the shotgun and got, say, two kills with it around, that's an extra $1,800 kill bonus on top of that. Highly unlikely, of course, but if you somehow managed it, that would up the damage per minute to over 11,000. But of course that map doesn't exist anymore. And also because these earnings are only during the bit of the match where the game's actually being played. Which is cheating, because it doesn't factor in the time that's required to join or to start the game in the first place, nor any of the other usual match red tape that's involved. Even if we assume a match is found instantly, which is very unlikely, and after you factor in the time it takes for all 10 players to load and to join the server, the minimum warm-up time of 1 minute, the bumper 15 second pause at half time, and the fact that you don't make any money from suiciding so the match would have to end after 16 rounds, I worked out that you could complete an entire match like this in almost exactly 8.5 minutes, going from the main menu into the game, finishing it and then back to the main menu again. So in the fastest 16-nil win ever, you'd make a grand total of $53,600, working out at about $6,300 per minute. Factoring all this in, it would take you almost three hours of flawless, instantly discovered Vertigo matches against suicidal teams to become a millionaire in this manner. I suppose if a team all shot themselves, a round could take fewer than three seconds to end. There would, of course, always be one person left, who would need to rely on a Molotov or throwing grenade to finish them off. But you know the real reason why this wouldn't work? You get kicked for team killing. And this applies to players falling off the side of Vertigo too. So in other words, this whole segment of this video has been completely pointless. But I don't regret doing it because it's been fun to do. So without suicides and team killing, what's the fastest round time you can hope to achieve in CSGO? It would have to beat Dust too, wouldn't it? Both teams reach middle within seconds of the round starting. And yes, there is now this stupid building that's obstructing the sightline, but there are ways around this. So the following situation can still happen. Humor me here. In this hypothetical fastest round or dust 2 possible situation, all five enemies would make a beeline for middle, and in some freak event, their heads would all just magically align and they'd all be wiped out in one very lucky headshot from you, using an orb. It is possible, even from this distance. Incredibly unlikely, but still possible. I estimate this round would be over in maybe four seconds, but let's give it five just in case the terrorists spawn miles away from the start. And because of that guy in CT spawn, he's always blocking you whenever you're trying to get somewhere quickly. Now, assume the enemies make this exact same mistake for the next 15 rounds as well. The game would be over in eight and three quarter minutes. So actually not that much slower than the Vertigo scenario. But there are still complications with the execution of these rounds. It helps to head boost onto a teammate to line all the heads up. But I don't know how you do this when playing on the T side, where you're trying to line up five CT heads from above. But let's just assume that all five enemies just happen to jump or crouch at the exact same time, in a way that enables a lucky shot through all five of them. So it is still possible, just very, very silly. Also remember that doing this in the first few rounds of each half would be harder to do, since you wouldn't yet have an AWP. So we'd instead need to fire off several lucky pistol shots in a row to take out all five enemies. But the real added bonus of this Dust 2 scenario over, say, the Vertigo one, is that there's the extra kill bonus money to consider too. Five kills with an AWP would net you only $500 a round, but getting five pistol kills per round ups that to $1,500. Not bad going, even if it does take an extra second or so to fire all those shots off. And if by some miracle you could snipe all five enemy players down middle with an SMG, then your kill bonus could increase to $3,000 per round. You probably need the enemies to shoot themselves all down to low health first, and oh this is ridiculous isn't it? But say you could pull five SMG kills off down middle of Dust 2 within the first five seconds of every round. That would net you an earning rate in that entire match of $11,600 per minute. That's more than most YouTubers earn in their lifetime. So kill bonuses are clearly where it's at, if you want to earn the most you can per minute. 
So it's here we must look to the knife. At $1,500 per kill, that's potentially $7,500 per round that you could be earning. The rounds would need to take a bit longer since you'd have to get within stabbing distance of your foes, so I tested how long it took to run from one spawn point to the other on all of the officially included maps, and then I divided that by two. And guess what? Let's do this quick. The shortest time just also happens to be on Dust 2. And Overpass was the longest, if you must know. You can get your first knife kill in roughly seven seconds on Dust 2 in mid, and then it's just a matter of doing this. I mean, don't ask me what the enemy team is doing by rushing mid every round in a perfect line with the backs turned to you. Maybe they're shy. But provided they do this, it will take 12 seconds to end each round. And for each, you'll earn $7,500 in knife kills and $3,250 in win bonuses. Over the duration of this 16 round, 11 minute long and incredibly silly match, that equates to $16,300 per minute. But here's a crazy thought. What if we don't win 16-0? If kill bonuses score higher than short rounds do, then could extending the match out to the full 30 rounds in length make sense? To do this, you'd win the first 15 rounds with 5 knife kills per round, and then you'd lose at least the following 14 rounds in the second half by getting just 4 knife kills and then by being shot in the face by the 5th. And then you win the last round. Because you're a winner. But also because you'd make more from the 5th and final knife kill than you do from the extra $150 round bonus you get from losing that final round. Anyway. I did the calculations that you don't have to, and I was surprised to discover a number of things. For a start, if you were to lose 15 rounds in a row, your round end bonuses are only $750 less than what you would earn from 15 round wins in a row. And the second thing that surprised me was, despite that, it's still not financially worth doing. My calculations state you will still earn more money per minute by winning each game 16-0 with 5 knife kills per round even though that would result in you having to endure almost double the number of profitless pre-match warm-up periods on your quest to becoming a millionaire. But of course, all this is assuming that within 90 seconds of clicking the search for match button, the first round of that match can begin, which in the real world is unlikely to happen. But then so is all of this, so let's not go there. So it seems like winning Dust 2 16-0 by getting 5 knife kills per round during a mid-rush where all enemies run towards you backwards is the most profitable way of playing CSGO. Australis, take note. Playing in this way, you'll be a millionaire in 61 minutes of matchmaking. You could almost do it in an hour, but not quite. Valve, please fix. But there is a way of earning even more. Since this video left the bounds of realism long, long ago, I'm going to stretch the idea of this video a little further, thanks to this tweet from the Yabot. At the end of a match, the game claimed that he had spent $4,300,000 in a single match. If he isn't a millionaire now, then he was when he started or he's now millions in debt. Something's going wrong here. Indeed it has. Harming a hostage, as it turns out, depletes your money. $30 for every point of damage dealt. We've all been there in a competitive game when we accidentally molotov these fellas and feel utterly helpless as we watch ourselves lose almost $7,000. So while this money might not be money that we've ever technically owned, the game sees this as money that we've managed to spend. And since we can't go below $0, it means that we've discovered one funny trick that doctors hate that allows us to spend as much money as we'd like without ever going into debt. Now I'd call that making money out of nowhere. Maybe. So this is what peak money making looks like. The Molotov is just for show, since it's greatly outstripped by the money you can spend by simply firing a Negev at the hostage. With a deploy time of 1.1 seconds and 150 rounds per belt, with each hit on the hostage costing you $1,020, it will take a grand total of 6.5 magazine belts to make the game think you've spent a million dollars. If you have somebody to reload and to redeploy fully loaded Negevs for you to use, and you time it all perfectly, it means that you can spend a million dollars in this way in under 81 seconds. That's a single round of Counter-Strike. 81 seconds. Assuming an infinitely long round and infinite Negevs, because at this point why not, you'll become a billionaire at this rate in just under 24 hours. And you'll surpass the current richest man in the world, Elon Musk, and his fortune of 212 billion in 198 days. Just over half a year, non-stop. $1,000 a shot. You might have a moral and ethical problem with doing this to get rich. But nobody said that getting rich would be easy. But I do remember somebody saying that you have to spend money to make it.